recording straight away. All right, welcome farms to the, this forest boot camp. It's slated to take place for three days. It's gonna take place today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and on Thursday, which is the 26th of January, 2023. This forest boot camp is organized by Smart Traders Network. You may want to know what we do. We trade Forex and we trade it in a very smart way. We don't trade it as others do. So in the course of this um, Forest Bootcamp, we're going to be bringing you resource persons that we handle the various aspects that we intend to teach in our course for this Bootcamp. We want to unveil to you everything you need to know to be profitable. I've always said it, forest is a journey and it's not a spring. Sprint, it's a marathon. You want to take it step by step, you know, take it one ladder upon another. You keep climbing until you're able to achieve mastery. So we have results and we have a lot of persons we are bringing in that, that are going to be sharing with us what forex entails and how you can be profitable from forex. Forex is a great industry with a lot of potentials, only if you know what you are doing. I know there are a lot of persons that are on this call right now or will be watching this video that have had you know, different experiences with trading the forex market. So regardless of your experience, regardless of what you are coming from, I want to advise, get your materials and then be ready to learn. At the end of every session, we're going to be having um, a session of questions and answer where we allow you to ask your question and then we attend to it. We want to make sure everybody is carried along. So get your materials, get your coffee, get your tea or you get your chips and then let's go, let's go, let's go. So today we're going to be having introduction to Forex and everything you need to know about the Forex market. We're, going, we're starting today. So as an introduction, I'm going to be introducing to us our resource person for today that we handle the call for today. He's the CEO of College of Wealth. He's doing amazing and he's, he's, he's a peeps lord, you know, catches a lot of peeps and a lot of sniper. His name is Mr. Bolua Tife Ojo. I'm going to be connecting him right now so that he will carry us. We don't want to waste enough time. So Mr. Bolu, can you just, um, just greet the house, greet the family, greet the team? Um, thank you, Mr. Moses. Um, hello, everybody. It's nice to meet you all. Um, my Nigerians, good morning, non-Nigerians. Good day, anywhere you are from the world. It's nice to meet you all. My name is Bolu Atife Ojo. And I'll be introducing you to the Forex market today. Everything you need to know about the Forex market today. So, um, Mr. Moses, can you let me share my screen? Yes, I'm making you host so right I can... away now. I'm making you host. I just All right. host. So you can share your screen and give us the source, guy. Let's go. Farms, right. let's go, let's go. Okay, you already made me host, right? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm going to share my screen now. Um... Okay. Um, hello guys. So can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. Dropped. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So if welcome, can, welcome everybody. Please just drop some ones in the chat box if you can see my screen. Drop some ones in the chat box. And please just thank Mr. Moses. Just type in the um chat box. Thank you, Mr. Moses, for this opportunity. So um, this is this is a blessing. This is value that you're about to receive, guys. A lot of values for the next three days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, welcome, welcome to the Smart Traders Network Forex Bootcamp. This is um the introduction to Forex and um our contents for today. Yeah, what is Forex? What can be traded in the Forex market? Who can participate in forex trading? What is a pip? What is a lot in forex? When can you trade forex? Types of forex analysis, forex candlesticks, 
introduction to market structure, um, discount and premium zones. This is just um, just um, the basics that we're going to learn today. I mean, there are other stops to come in the coming days. So let's just start with this and we'll gain a lot of value, okay? So let's go. What is Forex? Forex is a decentralized global currency exchange and it's the largest market in the world. It's a form of trading that involves exchanging some type of currency with another at different rates. You buy one currency and simultaneously sell another against it or vice versa. What does this mean? Okay, let me give you an instance. Um, you are a rich person, a rich millionaire in Nigeria, and you decide to travel out of the country with your Naira, okay? I mean, you can't spend your local currency in Naira um, in the United States or France or United Kingdom. No, you have to like change your currency to their own currency. So you have to like sell your Naira for USD. I mean, if you are, if you are going to America, the US and the, the United States, you have to sell your Naira for the USD. So that process, that transaction you've made, you've already participated in the forex foreign exchange market. That is Forex, okay? So that is just basically it. So let's just keep going. Um, what can be traded in the Forex market? Okay, so the Forex market is extremely liquid. Extremely liquid means there is a lot of money flowing in the market. So the Forex market is extremely liquid and very active with over $6.6 .6 trillion daily. I mean, that is a lot of money. That is huge. I mean, the trader you seek to become eventually, you know, you can just decide that, okay, this morning I want to make so, so, so amount. When you become that trader you seek to become, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. You have to have mastered yourself. You have to, sorry about that. You have to have mastered yourself. You have to master your strategy. You have to be disciplined. You have to be diligent. You have to be consistent to become that person. So when you eventually become that person, all you have to do is just wake up in the morning, do your analysis and go and pick your money because over $6.6 .6 trillion is in that market. That is just a lot of money. So moving on, um, some of the instruments that, are, that can be traded in the Forex markets. So we have currency pair, we have commodities and metals, we have stock indices. So currency pay, I mean, we have, I think the United Nations recognizes about 180 currencies here, yeah. but we have eight major currencies and that's because they represent the world's largest economies. What are these um, eight major currencies? The Euro, the United States dollar, the pound, the um, Japanese yen, the Canadian dollar, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, and um, the Swiss franc. Those are the eight major currencies we have. And we have seven major currency pair. That is the EU, Euro USD, GPB USD, USD JPY, USD card, AUD USD, NZD USD, and the USD CHF. Why are they the major currency pair? Because any pair, any major currency, that is paired with the USD makes it a major currency pair. Okay, we have other currencies. We can pair um, the E, the Euro, and the GPB. That's EUR GPB. That makes it um, a minor currency, or we call them crosses. I mean, yeah, we call them crosses. We can have the GPB, NZD. We can have the AUD, NZD. Those are other currencies we can pair. But the major currencies are those we pay against the USD. I hope that is clear. So now we have commodities and metals such as um, gold, silver, salt, rice, oil. I mean, there are charts for these things. So the strategy we trade, the smart money concept, which we'll be talking about later on in this bootcamp, allows us to be able to trade all these commodities and metals, as well as the stock indices such as NASDAQ, US 30, 
US 100, S&P 500, okay. So who can participate in Forex? Okay, please drop some ones if you can hear me. This. Trying to confirm this network. Please drop some ones if you can hear me. Please drop some ones if you can hear me. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we can participate in Forex trading. We have institutions such as commercial and investment banks. Um, that is your usual GT Bank, Wema Bank, FCMB, and all those banks. Central banks, investment manager, and hedge funds. Um, who are investment managers? Investment managers are people or organizations who handle all activities related to um, financial planning, investments, and um, managing of portfolio for people or organizations. So um, if you're an investment manager, Forex is something you can invest to, you understand. There are other things you can invest to, but once you become an excellent trader, a professional trader, yeah, you can decide to also invest in Forex, okay? We have multinational corporations and we also have retail traders. Those are the ind individual investors, such as um, you and I. I mean, decades ago, in fact, let's say in the 80s, in the 90s, those days, I don't think people could actually individually participate in Forex. I mean, thank, thank God for technology now. We have MT4, MT5, C trader other trading apps we could we could now participate in forex then i think they used to even make calls to participate in forex so then for technology we can use our small money our hundred dollars uh five hundred dollars out of the 6.6 trillion dollars trading daily we can also participate with our own small money and make some money out of the market okay so thank god for technology so moving on moving on um, okay, sorry. Yeah, so what is a PIP in Forex? The unit of measurement to express the change in value between two currencies is called a PIP. If EU moves from 1.1050 to 1.1051, then the 0 0.001 USD rise in value is one pip. Okay, I'm going to show this to you on the chart. What is a lot in Forex? A lot is a unit measuring a transaction amount. Okay, you would have heard from, maybe if you're familiar with trader friends, you'll have heard, oh, I made 50 pips today. I made 100 pips today. I made 2,000 pips this month. I made 1,000 pips this week, something like that. So. This PIP is what we use, we use to measure the amount we are risking and the amount we are going to make. You understand? Our risk to reward. This is what we use, the PIP. For, okay, let me show you something. Let me just show you something. Let me go to... You can, you can still see my screen, right? Oh, my screen yes, is paused. My screen is... If I leave this page, my screen is going to pause, but... No problem, no problem. I'm still going to show you eventually. What is a lot in Forex? Okay, I already mentioned that. Lot is a unit measuring a transaction amount. For instance, okay, I want to risk $10 in a trade. Okay, I want to sell EU. I have $10 I'm, I'm willing to risk, okay? So once you calculate your number of stops, you will use that to get your lot size by the time you are doing risk management, you know this, you, are, you will get this better in the bootcamp. By the time, um, once you have your, you have, you are willing to risk $10, right? So you are going to make sure you calculate in relation to the number of pips you are risking to get your lot size with that $10, okay? Don't worry, when you get to risk management, you get this better. I'm, I'm very positive about that. I'm very positive about that. So let's go. When can you trade Forex? So the Forex market can be broken up into four major trading sessions. 
the Sydney session, the Tokyo session, um, the Tokyo is also um, the Asian session, the London session, and the New York session. I think most of us that trade EU and um, um, the EU, the GU, we trade around the London session and the New York session. So these are the times, the local time we trade um, the sessions. For example, the Sydney opens at 7 a.m. In, in the local time and closes by 4 p.m. In Nigeria, that's our coordin uh, coordin coordinated universal time, plus one. Um, Sydney opens by 10 p.m., closed by 7 a.m. The Tokyo session, the London, I mean, the Asian session, rather, opens by 9 a.m., closes by 6 p.m., but in Nigeria, it opens by 1 a.m., closes by 10 a.m. The London session opens by 8 a.m., closes by 5 p.m., uh, and the I think London and Nigeria, we use basically the same time, so... We open by 8 a.m. in Nigeria and close by 5 p.m. So once you wake up in the morning, for those of us that trade the London session, we look to analyze our market. Let's say we wake up as early as 5.30, 6 a.m., and fresh up, walk out or something, then go to the charts, do your analysis, and wait for your setup to show up around this time, as well as the New York session that opens around 2 p.m. in Nigeria and closes around 11 p.m. So once you see your setup around this time, I mean, you should be confident to take it because this is when the big boys are coming to play. This is when they are coming to put the, to push the market, you understand? Because the market is not moved by, the Forex market is not moved by um, just algorithm alone. There are people who are actually trading the market. You understand the big boys are actually trading the market so we tend to follow them we tend to trade alongside the big boys because if you are risking if you are trading against the big boys with your small hundred dollars they will chop your money or they will just take your money away so if we are trading alongside with them we get to make more we get to risk little and make more you understand that's what smart money is based upon that's what we trade smart money concepts we are smart so forex analysis please if you have some questions you can just drop them in the chat box and we'll get back to that later okay yeah thank you so please am i clear am i am i clear if you have any questions you can just keep dropping them i'm going to see them on the chat box i just hope i'm clear please drop some warm ones in the chat box if i am clear enough so forex analysis there are three types of forex analysis you have the technical analysis, we have the fundamental analysis, and we have the sentiment analysis. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, sorry about that, though. Where is my mouse? What's going on? Mouse is messing up. Sorry about that. Okay. So types of Forex analysis. We have, there are three types of Forex analysis, technical analysis, that is what we are going to be teaching you basically in this um, bootcamp, how to analyze um, based on the smart money concepts. Okay, so what is technical analysis? Technical analysis is the study of historical price action in order to identify patterns and determine possibilities of the future direction of price, okay? So we do what? We determine what price has done in the past. We look at the chart, okay, what happened here? Okay, we can see our signals, what we are looking for, um, institutional candles, you get to that later. Institutional candles, um, liquidity sweep, all that concepts, yeah, are smart money concepts. We use those concepts to, to determine, along with market structure, we are going to get to that to determine what we are going to do. You understand? We are not always going to be correct, but I can assure you we have 80 to 90 percent um, probability to be correct as long as we are trading along with the big boys. Okay. So 
technical analysis is just the study of what has happened, then we determine what we are going to do. Either we are going to buy or we are going to sell. Okay. So what is fundamental analysis? Is a way of analyzing the potential moves of a currency through the strength or weakness of that country's economic outlook. I put this for xfactory.com because um, we go to this website to get news. You understand? We to get news of what is happening in the market. So I actually use it to um, know where to stay to the market to stay away from. Because new, if you visit this website, you'll see um, the, the news happening for the day. You understand? There's always news happening for the day. So the impact of the news de uh, depend on what um, the impact of the news. Okay, news affects market. Yes, that's Forex market. News affect, affects the market, but it's always still in along with the trend of the market. So if you don't know what you're doing and news is happening, I mean, it's just going to mess you up. So just visit this website to know what is going on with the country's economy, okay? So what is sentiment analysis? It's used to gauge how traders feel, whether a market is bullish or bearish. I mean, it's still basically um, technical analysis because once you do our analysis from the higher time frame, we we determine whether the market is bearish or bullish. So it's still basically knowing what the market is doing. We just have it at the back of our mind because market is always buying and selling. You understand? But depending on the time frame, market is always buying and selling. But we need to know what the market is doing in general, if it is bearish long term or bullish long term. You understand? Okay. So let's move on to forex candlesticks. Yeah, let, okay, so um, I was going to show you something. Why is my mic? Let me just exit this. Okay, so, okay, good. Can you still see my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is candlesticks. Candlesticks don't always look like this. We have different kind of candlesticks, but then the concept is still the same thing. We always have the eye, the, the open, the close, the eye, the low. There is always that in um, a candlestick, but they don't always look like this. But this depicts what forest candlesticks look like. For, ex for instance, the green candle indicates a bullish candle. And it means market is going up. Buyers are stronger than and buyers are stronger than sellers in this particular period, in this particular moment. So why? Market opened around this side. You understand? Then this line is called the week, the weeks, all these lines, they are called weeks. So let's say market opened around 1 a.m. So market opened around this 1 a.m. At this open, this line here, market open. But when market opened, it came down. I mean, sellers pushed it down. Then it rejected eventually. Then it went up and closed. Actually, it went up to this eye. This, this was the highest point market the market got to and then eventually came down and closed at uh, this zone you understand so this low becomes a week because market opened here you understand immediately market opened sellers pushed it down then no buyer said buyer said no and they came back came back to the open pushed market up and it's pushed market to this high then sellers came again pushed it down and market closed at this point, but overall the candle was bullish. So, as as well as the sales as well, market opened around here. Buyers pushed it up. You understand? To this eye, and it came down. To this, this was the highest, the lowest point it came to. Sorry, this was the lowest point it came to. Then it rejected, and it closed. So at this particular period, this particular period, sellers were stronger than were stronger than buyers. So it means market is bearish at this particular period. Market is bullish at this particular period. And that, that, is that clear? So, but as I said, candles will not always look like this. In fact, we are, we have some candles. You will still learn about that. That it can it will not even have weeks. 
You understand? It's not ab wigs. It's we call them um institutional candles. That kind of candles we always play in the market as regards to smart money. Okay. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. All that good stuff. We'll get to that later. But this is just introduction. Can't be bombarding you with all of all of that yet. So market structure. Yeah. Now we're getting to the good stuff. We are getting to the good stuff. Market structure. So there are three types of market structure. We have the uptrend, the downtrend, and the uh, consolidation phase. That is also known as the ranging market. So what is uptrend? When the buyers, so bulls, we also call buyers bulls, you understand? When the buyers, the bulls are in charge, the market is said to be in an uptrend. That is, the market is creating a series of higher highs and higher lows. You understand? So when market is in an uptrend, it is said to be bullish. I'm going to still draw this out for you on the chart. Now, downtrend. When the sellers, bears, we call them bears, are in charge, the market is said to be in a downtrend. That is, the market is cre creating a series of lower highs and lower lows. That means the market is bearish. And we have consolidation phase. When price is trapped between two zones, market is said to be in a consolidation phase. That means market is just ranging in a zone. Let me let me share let me share something with you. Let me share. Okay, let's go let's go to this screen. I hope you can still see my screen, guys. Okay, yeah, I'm sure you can see my screen. So, uptrend. Let me let me let me let me break this down. Is market structure. So market structure, right? So we're talking about uptrend, downtrend, and consolidation. Oh. Okay. So when market is in an uptrend, as I said, it's creating series of higher highs and higher lows. All right, let me just draw this out for you. Higher low, then higher high, higher low. Sorry. Sorry about that. We have higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Okay, so this is when a market is said to be in an uptrend. Let me put this aside. Let me we have trend, higher highs. Lose and we have downtrend. Market is creating a series of lower highs and lower lows. So lower high, lower low. Okay, so I eyes H H I lose H L. So let me just mark this out so we can see what I'm talking about. Now this is a low right here. Then we have I. Then we have higher low. When market comes down and doesn't break this last low, you understand? Market came down. It did not break this last low. So this becomes a higher low then a new higher high will be created after a new higher low has been formed. So let me just mark this. This is the higher high that we have in the first higher high. And this is our new higher low. So when a new higher low is formed, what are, what are we anticipating? We're anticipating market should create a new higher high, right? So let me clone this. We have new 
IRI here. After IRI is formed, we create another IR low, so new IR low. This is what we just trade, market structure. We make sure we are trading what the market is doing. So this becomes what a new IR high because what it closed above this previous high. This becomes, sorry, this becomes a new IR low because it did not break this low. So we have IR high, IR low, higher high, IR low. It didn't break this low. IR high, broke this high. IR low, did not break this low. Then we get IR high again, above this high. Then what this is this becomes a IR low. Since it has not created IR high, still potential IR lows. So that is that about uptrend. Now downtrend, we are creating series of lower highs and lower lows, right? Now let me put this downtrend. Downtrend. So when market is creating a series of lower highs and lower lows when a downtrend like this, lower high, it did not break above, break this high. So we come down lower low because it took out this low here. Yeah? Then we go lower high. It's not going to break this high. Then lower low. It's going to break this low, lower high and lower low. So let me just label it. We have lower high and lower low. This is our first, this is our lower high here. Then we have lower low. Lower high. Lower low because what it closed below this low, so lower low, lower high, it must not break up, it must not close above this recent high. And we have lower low. Right, so this is what um, it, a bullish trend is like, market creeps creating IIs and IR lows, IIs and IR low. Downtrend, lower highs, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Now for a consolidating market, also known as a ranging market, consolidation, okay? Market is what trapped between two zones. In fact, market is still buying and selling in those zones, you understand? But let's say we have something like this. We have this zone. So when market keeps buying and selling in these zones without breaking them, we refer to it as a consolidation or a ranging market. Okay. So in this kind, this kind of case, what do we do? We wait for a breakout of these zones before we decide what to do. You understand? Markets can markets can break it, break out like this, and go like this. Markets can break out and still go up, or break out and still come down. You understand? But we we'll get to get to that. So this is what market structure is like the uptrend, the downtrend, and the consolidation. Uptrend, markets creating higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, and downtrend, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Consolidation trapped in between two zones. They haven't decided where to go yet. Okay. So um, now let's go back to our PowerPoint. I think the last is discounts and premium zones. Let me, let me, let's go back to, PowerPoint, where is the PowerPoint? This, hold on, okay. So now 
we have discount and premium zone. So what's a discount and premium zone? In a bullish trend, when market is creating a higher high and a higher low, we look to join the, buyer, the buyers at the new higher low to create a new higher high. You know, with the um, structure I just drew, you will see that when I was creating, when I was drawing the higher low, then we push up to create a new higher high. When we are coming down again to create that new higher low, we push up to create a new higher high, breaking the last, the previous higher high. So where we look to join these buyers is referred to as a discount price, which is 50% or below of the move that created the most recent high. I'm going to show you this. In a bearish trend, when market is creating a lower low and a lower high, we look to join the sellers at the new lower high to create a new lower low. You understand? This zone where we look to sell from is called a premium zone, which is 50% or above of the move that created the most recent low. Okay, let me go back to the chart again. Um, let me go back to the chart again. So now, let me, let's assume, okay, let me use this, let me use this, okay. So this is an uptrend, right? I will look to do what? Buy at 50% at the discount. So we look to buy at 50% or below. So there is this tool we call the Fibonacci tool. Let me first draw it out. This is a Fibonacci tool, okay? So we have this zone. This zone at the top is the premium zone, okay? Then the zone below. Is the discount. Okay, so this is this this is the equilibrium. The middle is fifty percent. So we look to buy at where, in an uptrend, we look to buy at the fifty percent or below. So the fifty percent or below is the discount. The fifty percent above is the what? The premium, and the premium is where we look to sell. Okay, so now let me just leave this and come back to this chart. Now, from the new, this this is a new. Okay, let me let's say this has not happened. All this all this move, this move has not happened. Let me let me just draw this. We have higher high, higher low. Immediately, this higher low is created, and we have higher high. Now we look to join markets at where the new higher low. So what do we do? We take our Fibonacci from this low here, this higher low that was created that created this new higher high. We draw our Fibonacci to from this low, can you see, to where, to this high, right? So what we do, we look to join the buyers at 50% or below, can you see? This is 50%, the equilibrium is the discount. No, can you see how the structure came into that zone? Okay, this is already 50%. So this is where we're going to be looking to buy this market to join them to create this new IRI from here, from this 50% to create this new IRI, okay? So we look for um, our confirmation entries around this 50% um, imbalance, um, smart money cube, you get to that later when we start learning about entries. So we look at this zone to buy, you understand, to take it to a new eye. Okay, once that is created, what do we do again? When, once the new higher high has been established, what do we do again? We wait to buy again, okay? We take our profit at this new higher high or this last point, you know, because we know it's going to break it. It's, it is a bullish trend, so it's going to create a new high. So we can set our TP around this high or wait or, or take one to three. I mean, you get to that later or just wait for it to break and anticipate another pullback to join and create a new II. Okay, now that this II has been established, okay, now that this II has been established, I'm looking to buy again, okay? I'm going to wait for market to come to what? 50% of this move again. This one, this move that created this eye. Let me show you. From this move that created this eye, I'm going to draw the 50% again. 
so I can join. So what do we do? I'm going to draw my Fibonacci tool from here again to this eye. What did market do? Market came back again to the discount, okay? As I've drawn here for 50%, can you see 50% below is discount. So the higher, higher low again is in the discount. You understand? So we look for another confirmation entry here to take it to the new high, okay? So that is just rinse and repeat. You just follow what the market is doing, follow what the market is doing. From here again, I'm looking to buy, take Fibonacci to here. I'm looking at 50%. Can okay, you see market has already entered the 50%. So I'll be looking for confirmation here to do what? To take it higher. Take it higher like this. You understand? That is just that is just discount and premium zone. That is how discount and premium zone works. We don't just drop into the market because oh, market is going up, market is going up, you jump in. Some people want to because it's going up, they will just buy at this point. You know, when you buy at this point and market comes back, you'll be in drawdown. Like, okay, do you like to see red? You know, when when I, I don't like to see red, I really don't like to see red. It used to make mess with my own mentals. So I'm just going to wait. Once a new III has been established, you understand, I'm going to wait for market to come to the 50% or below, and I'm going to enter the trade to take it to the new high, okay? As same thing for the sell. Same thing for the sell, okay? Market created what? A new lower high, lower low, okay? I'm going to draw my Fibonacci from this high to this low. I'm, I want to sell from the new lower high, right? So draw from the recent lower high, to the recent lower low, sorry. What is, I'm supposed to draw it like, okay, this, yes. Excuse me. Okay, so from this zone to this zone, I'm looking to sell from where? The premium, right? As I said, this is the premium and discount. This zone is premium. 50% above is the discount, right? So now let's come back to our structure. Now, from this low to this high, the discount is around this zone, 50%. So I'm going to look for confirmation entries here to take market from this lower high to create a new lower low. I can take my TP around this new low, you understand? Then wait for market to establish that low. Once market establish that low, okay, I'm going to wait and do what again? Draw my Fibonacci from here to here to get the new what? New lower high. Okay. Let me delete this one behind because it's kind of confusing. Okay, now I'm going to draw this new lower high. Can you see our market even came to the 50%? Okay, markets can reject from where 50% um, and above. Okay, so markets actually turned around 50% of here and created a new lower low. Okay, so you know, trading is easier when you trade like this. When you are patient, when you wait for markets to come to you, you just, you just don't jump into the market because you know the market is buying or the market is selling. You wait for your confirmation entries. You wait to buy at discounts or premium zones, okay? That is just what, okay, now look at this last one now. We wait again. Market has created a new lower low. Okay, fine. I'm going to sell at 50%. Now it has created this low now. I'm going to wait for market to come to this zone, to all this zone for confirmation entry. And once I see my confirmation, I'm going to take it and sell again. So what we do is just what? Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Market is repetitive. It does what it has done before. Market structure, okay? We just follow market structure. The, my mentor says what? Structure is king. Market is full of abundance. Once you miss a setup, don't worry. Another one is going to come. You understand? So we don't need to just jump into the market and start losing, start getting emotional. You understand? 
Market will always give you entry. It never leaves without you, okay? We already, since you can establish structure, we just follow structure. We follow what market is doing, okay? All right, thank you. Thank you very much. So consolidation markets, um, <laughs> there is no way you can measure um, discount and premiums in the consolidation market. So what do we do? We just wait for market to create that structure we are looking for. We'll be patient for the breakout. And once the structure is established, okay, now we know that we can join them if they are buying or if they are selling. Yes, I hope I'm clear. Please drop some ones in the chat boxes if I'm clear. Drop some ones in the chat box if I'm clear. Some ones in the chat box if I'm clear. Response, response, response. Please, does anybody have questions? Do you have questions? Do you have questions? No questions. Ah, uh, well done, Mama. Welcome, Mama. Hmm. No, no, no. No questions. Okay, Mr. Moses, okay, I have come to the end of my own lecture for the day. I think my, my, my lecture ends at discount and premium zones. So if you have any questions, anyone else, any questions, just don't, don't hesitate. Please ask, please ask. We're all here to learn. We're all here to learn. Um, so, Mr. Moses, I'm going to be passing the mic to you now. I'm going to be passing yeah, the mic just, to you. Yeah, just check the comment section, please. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing, Are you seeing some, the question? I'm seeing some pop up. Just check if you have yeah. questions. Uh, yes, Mr. Steven. Um, the, okay, I can, I can send the presentation to the group. I'll, I'll send this presentation to the group. Yeah, you can get the presentation, sir. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Any other question? Any other question? Okay, I don't think there's any question. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Mr. Shola. Thank you, Mr. Shola. All right, farms. If you don't have any question, let's go. If there's no question. All right, uh, you can make me host now. But if you want to screenshot what is on the screen, you can go ahead. You can just take a screenshot of that so that um, at least okay. just, what's on the screen is very important. You want to screenshot it. You can screenshot it and put it in your archive to go through it because we are going to be building on what we have started today. This is just day two. This is just the first day, sorry. By tomorrow, we'll be having um, a second class. Is Fortman still on the call? I think I cited him. Oh, is, is he on the call? Yeah, he was on the call. I think he just stepped out. He has been on the call with us. He has been on the call. Oh, okay. Amazing, amazing. I can't wait for him to teach. I can't wait for him to teach. <laughs> All right, fans. I'm super excited that you are able to make it for the call. Now, let me say this before, while you are trying to capture this, let me say this. Um, tomorrow is going to be bomb. Yes, I know what I'm talking about. Tomorrow, I'm going to take in-depth study into market structure we're going to take in-depth study into risk management and trade management because it's not enough to have an understanding of trading i believe that ability to manage your risk and manage your trade all right i'm the host currently is all right thank you very much is the cap of everything so tomorrow we're going to settle down to look at market structure we'll look at trade management we look at how to calculate your stop loss and how to know the exact lot size to use the exact lot size you want to use for either a ten dollar account fifty dollar account hundred dollar account depending on the equity you have i'm going to settle down tomorrow to handle all those areas 
then we make the video recordings available for you at on our YouTube channel. All right, let me share my screen now. Though I'm not teaching today, we're going to make all the video recording available on our YouTube channel and we'll also put them in the Telegram group. Please, I don't want you to miss the call tomorrow. It's going to be so amazing. So persons have DM me, they reach out to me. I have a $35 account. What lot size should I use for this setup? There are so many setup with drop. You can't catch everything because the size of my equity is not the same with yours. So you don't want to go and be using like one lot size or a three lot size when, you know, those that have $200 accounts are using three lot size. You want to imitate them. Then you end up blowing your account so tomorrow i'm going to sit down to address all those things like all of them we'll sit down we address everything tomorrow so please do us a favor share the link for those of you that brought in your friends into the group i think right now we're about 170 something on the telegram group please do well to share the link let them know that tomorrow we are hitting market structure, trade management, and risk management. It's going to be amazing. I'm super prepared. And then we'll be having uh, one of our senior colleagues in the house tomorrow, the fourth man himself. He's going to be here. He's our super sniper boss. He's going to be on the call tomorrow, like tomorrow. I'm, I'm so excited. He's coming to give us the source. And then if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, this is our page. We have amazing videos there. You want to check them out so you want to check them out at your spare time go ahead subscribe watch them over and over again i will be at the youtube at the telegram group to answer all your questions i want to say thank you so much for everyone that hopped in on this call today for like you are cited all my uh, beloved friends and team honestly i'm amazed to have you mr jaffet thank you so much johnson god bless you elisha hamed Katoka, Lillian, Mr. Olaika, you are welcome. Prosper, Potia, Samuel, Shola, Stena, Uche, Steven, Abimbola, Ugochuku, Shane, and even those that network took out of the call, we appreciate all your effort. It simply points one thing to Ross. You want to grow, you want to learn. It simply points one thing to us that you want to be guided on this forest journey. And I want to tell you, joining the Smart Traders family is the best decision you have made. We are just beginning the year. We have a lot of amazing things we are going to be bringing your way. So I'm going to stop the recording right now.